When faced with a blank page, what do you see? Some see nothing, a space, empty. I see a chance, an opportunity, to explore an area that hasn't yet been addressed. To research then design and prototype then test. Stage one I find to be particularly useful. Skip the research out and this mistake will be crucial. First you need a problem, an area of difficulty, whether it's wastage of plastics or poor efficiency. Dissect the problem as best you can. To do this, you will need a plan. Interviews, questionnaires, surveys and more. You need to know your market before you go forth. Now put pen to paper, it's time to start designing. Hundreds of iterations before you start refining. 3D models of varying fidelity, starting off messily before adding more complexity. User testing products is integral at this stage. You should narrow down your users by demographic and age. Most designs fail after the first few tries. Maybe you don't like the details or it's not the right size. So go back to the drawing board, start over again. Make designs in CAD, sketch ideas with pen. Repeat the process as much as required until you have a viable option acquired. This may take a week or it may take a year, but there's no better feeling than coming up with that idea. Good design requires a lot of dexterity. Communication and teamwork to solve problems effectively. It requires creativity, it requires ambition, it requires conviction to bring your ideas to fruition. But most of all, it requires heart, for it is not a science, nor is it an art, but a mixture of the two in perfect harmony, creative and technical, working in unity. Designers need to do both, so bear that in mind, for truly good design is hard to find.